this is Debbie of Delta Lotus Yoga Wellness. Today we're going to continue our series, our standing pose series with three poses. And the first will be Reverse Warrior Paravita. <laughs> God, this is like bad. Paravita Virabhadrasana. And then we're going to do Trikonasana, Triangle Pose, and then Parsva Kanasana side angle pose. So let's get started with reverse warrior. Paribita <laughs> Virabhadrasana. The thing about these three, they're all using the same footwork that we used in warrior two last time. So let me get started here. I'm going to turn this way first. Feet go wide. I'm going to come into warrior two to start this. If you remember, we turn this foot out, turn this foot in a little, square the hips, turn the chest, bend the knee, bring the torso down, and bring the arms out. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So reverse, Paravita, reverse one, is simply dropping the back hand, turning the front palm up, and raising the arm up, opening the side body. This is it. Reverse warrior two, basically. Reverse Virabhadrasana. Bring the hands up and come out. Same thing applies about the abs coming in. Turn this foot in. Turn the other foot out. There we go. Turn the chest forward. Hips are slightly angled. You can stay here. Bend the front knee back into warrior two. Take the arms out. Turn the front palm up. This is reverse. Bring the back hand down to the leg. Draw that arm up and over. Reverse. Making sure that you're not rolling that front knee in. There's a tendency to roll that front knee in. Pull the abs in. Keep the elbow straight. And we're reaching over. Reverse. There you go. Next up is triangle. Same foot pattern. And I'm going to turn the other way too, especially in triangle because there's some things to think about in triangle that are a little different. I'm getting a block. You may need a block. You may not. If you're really not very uh, limber, you may need to put your hand on a chair seat. I'm going to put a block inside that front ankle. So the foot is turned. Same footwork as warrior two. Same exact foot, foot and, and the reverse warrior. In this pose, triangle, Trikonasana, Uttita Trikonasana, the legs stay straight. And be careful not to hyperextend. I, I like to hyperextend. Hips are level here. A slight turn there. The torso turns. You reach the arms out here. And then I want to bend here. I'm not going to bend like this, which is what a lot of people do. I'm going to bend here. See that? That motion? I want that motion. And you can even practice that motion if you want. Or like one of my teachers says, he goes, put your palm up, pizza in, pizza out, pizza in. This is Baxter Belt, pizza out. Here we go. Hands out, bend at the hips, reach the arm down, find your block or your leg or the ground. And then reach, open the shoulder up. And when you get it, you could start like this. And when you get it open, you can raise the arm up. Now, I want to make sure I'm tucking that pelvis again. I don't want to get that meatball out the back. What you see, we're going to do the other side. And what you see people do is you see them do this. Here I am, and then swing their arm back. Not the pose, and then they bend the knees. Not that, not the pose at all, okay? Same thing. Straight legs. Arms up. Reach. Bring that hand down wherever it's going. And let me come back up, because I, I want you to start with this hand on the hip. Okay. Tuck the pelvis. Bring the hand down. Draw the shoulder back. And then raise the arm. The straight line. And this arm should be reaching up. And then we get the, why well, it's called triangle. We have triangles here, right? Of a triangle here, one here. There's more, but those are the two main ones. And to come up, I want to pretend somebody's pulling my hand up, and I come up. Let me do it this way so you can see what happens to people. And you'll, you'll notice it's a lot like what happens in Warrior 2. 
It's the same footwork, right? Can't see my foot, but it's straightforward. This, there's this, right? I'm going to move here. I'm going to find my block. Take that elbow back. Notice if your butt is sticking out, you're going to pull your abs in. Tuck under that right thigh. Tuck it under. And then when you're there, you can reach up. Straight up. And you can look up. If your balance is good, look up at your hand. The belly is drawing in. The tailbone is tucking under. And up we come. Triangle. There's triangle. So you can work on these, um, you know, slow down, look at a little section. The third one is Parsvakanasana, which is um, side angle pose. Same leg work, which is why I picked it, right? Uh, to go with these two. Let's do it from the side first. Same leg, turn this foot out, turn that one in a little. Check the hips, turn the chest. We'll start from a straight leg, go into warrior two, knee out, right? And now you take your elbow, this is the first stage, and then you turn this palm forward and you reach it up and over. It's a straight line from those fingertips to the back toes. Chest pulls open, and there you go. And you can look up at your hand if you'd like to also. Side angle pose. See the other side. I'm going to show it from the other angle so you see the same kind of things happen in this. Arms come up. Bend the knee. Warrior two. Make sure that knee's pulling out. Oops. Did I say that? Yeah. Warrior two. Knee's pulling out. Reach up. Palm comes this way. Up and over. This is stage one. You may, you may be low. Ah, it's a lot. It's good to just stay here. Up and over. One straight line from the fingertips to the outer heel. Tuck the pelvis under. And there you go. Warrior, uh, reverse warrior, triangle, side angle. Enjoy those. Next time we'll take a look at everybody's nemesis, warrior three. Oh my gosh, right? And uh, that's up what's next. That's what's up next. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will catch you next time. Hands come together. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Bye.